Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Ben. And we are Autosave. Welcome to our channel. Today, we are watching Season 2, Episode 1 of Demon Slayer. <sighs> okay, um, so, we just finished watching Season 1. We just finished watching the trailers for Season 2, as well as Mugen Train. We're aware that the first seven episodes are a sort of retelling with over 70 new scenes, audio, tracks, everything. We're very excited to see a little bit more, a little bit more about Rengoku and yes, his trip to please. the train ride that made me the saddest boy of them all. Yeah. Um, I have a billion questions and things that I could talk about that happen in this arc. And I feel like I'm lucky enough to say when we get to them, we can touch on them. Yeah. Such as how uh, total concentration can pinpoint like blood vessels to stop the bleeding and everything. Like, oh, there's so much we can do. Okay. Other than that, though, I'm hyped. You? Please, can we just watch it right now? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've waited an eternity see it but i know that i haven't i know so many of you have basically waited forever to see this two and years plus we are so lucky that we get to jump right into it from watching the movie last night so i i'm super excited i want to know more about our flame hashira yeah me too and uh if you like this episode and hanging out with us while we watch it then Sunday, every Sunday when these episodes release, just come back here and watch it with us again. Uh, but other than that, you want to get into it? Yes, let's watch it. Sweet. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. <laughs> I'm sure he will hide his sword before getting on the train. <laughs> Unlike Inosuke. Are we going to see those people that died before Rengoku showed up? They might have been on the train, though, at the time. That looked like lightning, right? That looked crazy. I feel like I need to go back and see the silhouette of that person. It again. looked like he had two lines around his skull. <sighs> okay. Missing persons. This might be, like, right when they find out people are missing from the Wigan train. That's the person that met with him in the trailer. trailer. Yep, noodles. It's another demon. Oh my! Oh my! My boy. Oh my! <laughs> okay, dude, this looks amazing. Does it not? It, it really does look this amazing. This is the shot that we saw in the trailer. The lighting is so cool. Your work last night. Has he been constantly oh. going onto the train, or is this a different thing? Her. This reminds me of Udon Man from Ukasa. Usakasa. Usakasa. Right? That's that's how you say it. Oh. Does he, like, possibly know who they are or what they do? Maybe, but he's also just such a gracious eater. Even means more to give him a the free meal. The slasher appears. And again, train conductor's body. Ooh. Out of service now. Is that possibly when the demon morphs his body into it 40 of its passengers <laughs> <That's crunchy. laughs> My. dude i'm really hyped that we're getting to see this this is awesome please tell me this person is not gonna die no that makes all, me think she's gonna die all the elders know about demons see like Oh. That's a very, uh, that's just like the Hashira's, you know, saying that they'd rather die for the younger ones. She Does she know what demon slayers are? I think, I think so. 
変なこと言ってな,なんですか危ないそんなにブルブルしていたら <laughs> he really does appreciate every type of food that he has. You're not going to sell any bentos if you keep attacking people. <laughs> Is she going to save? Is he going to save her or something from a demon? And then she'll believe? I think that the elder might know that he's a oh, demon slayer, like yeah. you said. <laughs> They're making me fall even more in love with Ren Goku. I didn't even know it was possible. Hmm? He just ate too. What a guy. <laughs> and this guy has to carry it all for him. I feel like if he didn't just buy them all right now, they would have stayed later and then could have oh, possibly died. Oh, if they died. stayed later? Did he... You I might be he, right that he did that to get yeah. them out of there sooner. I think that the grandmother caught his I'll buy them all as a vibe to just leave. Leave as soon as possible. Huh. A well equipped maintenance. He's facility. gonna like jump out of the train. He's so cool. His crow's even cool, dude. He's keeping him up. He's keeping up with him. Like, look at this. What a cool shot. Great shot. <laughs> Do you think the shed is where the lower Kizuki was able to get into the train and like turn it into his body? Maybe. Maybe he's already at the train, right? I mean, Rangoku did say he faintly smelled like a demon. That's, That's the, the one. Yep. Is it killing someone? <gasps> no. Tatsu. Just <sighs> That's gonna Now you've off. done it. You do not disrespect food. I feel like he's going to make quick work of this guy. Yeah, honestly, it's made by the people that he just met that he knows put love into it. No, don't. Dude. No. Whoa. Please, no. Please, no. Please, no. Please, no. I trust him. Ugh. Wow. <laughs> that He's like be being like, you're nothing, dude. You couldn't even kill her. He's taking everything away from that demon. He's gonna treat the wounds of her soul. I love that. That's a great line. No. Oh! <laughs> he cut his arms off before he could do anything. He prioritizes saving everyone. This is the clip where we yes. see the demon slayers run in. 
I love that he knows enough about like first aid to at least stabilize like a patient before leaving it to the actual professional medical corps. That shows that it's not just strength in being a good demon slayer. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The demon said he was going to the station, but like the bento lady and girl aren't there anymore. Do you see how quick he's going after he activated total concentration breathing? That's one more thing that it can do. Whoa. <laughs> and it looks super cool when he does it. I knew as soon as she said she didn't believe in demons that she was going to see one. Don't you dare. No, no. Is the grandma going to sacrifice herself or something before Rengoku gets there? What a badass, dude. Don't, I don't want either of them to die. Please, please. Rengoku is going to show up. Yeah. No. Oh! Is the grandma okay? Is Oh, no. No, 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 no. Barely got away. That's it, Red Goku. What a guy. Make quick work of him, Red Goku. He's not a Kizuki, he, right? He doesn't seem like he's too strong for Red Goku at, at all, really. Does he not realize that Red Goku's a Hashira? <laughs> Ooh, he's sweat droplets. <laughs> oh my god! I love that! He doesn't even wait for it. He just go- His father. Ren Goku's father? <gasps> Was that? What? Was that really his dad? Everything's the same. To how they put the sword back into the sheath. She knows firsthand how real demons are. How real demon slayers are. And not even that, she knows someone in Red Goku's family. Wow. That's so cool. How Dude, that happened that way. It's so cool to be able to experience where you learn about that his father is a demon slayer this way first. You know what I mean? It's amazing after what the flashback, the dream we saw of yeah. his dad. Why would you say something like that? Yeah, good point. I totally agree, yep. Do you think that they have the know-how to send a demon in as a distraction? Well, remember when they arrived on the train, there was already two other demons on it? Yeah. That whole movie's literally gonna happen, like, tomorrow. And he's coming out of it without sleep, I'm assuming, right? Unless he sleeps here. <sighs> People keep saying things. You're putting it out in the universe. Stop. That's how he got I got all the bentos. Wow. Rengoku is the coolest, best dude ever. I love him <laughs> so much. I re just remembered that we learned that they make money. Yeah. Hmm, I forgot about that. Then I had a Rui episode flashback. <laughs> wow, that's such cool information to have going into the movie, like going into the coming series. I want 
to know how Rengoku doesn't know, like, sense that the train is the demon. Maybe it hasn't happened yet. But, like, if this is literally the day, the episode, the everything of the movie, that w <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> This is so cool. We get to see it from another perspective. Wow. Look, 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 look. <gasps> yep, they already they know. They already have their missions. They already know what they're doing. Yep. Oh, my. The one from Tanjiro's dream. Tuberculosis? Tuberculosis, yeah. With gratitude, baby. I'm so glad we're getting to see it at this angle and this Say time. It. Yes! Right. <laughs> and then they're gonna walk in like five minutes later and he's still gonna be eating and saying the same thing. That is crazy wild. No intro, right? We had no intro no, song? No, we didn't have an intro. Are we gonna get it at the end? Because, you know, sometimes they put it... A great kind of person. A gracious okay, Zenitsu. person, an amazing person. Oh! I mean, we know what they think of Gyu, so this is going to be great. <laughs> I'm so excited to see him. He looks like an owl. His, like, hair. She trained Training with him. with him. All of the <gasps> love, love him. him. <laughs> love him. Love him. Yes. <laughs> what does Gyu think of him? I love that the two guys. What about were... Tomioka? <gasps> <laughs> this is the best day of my life. All the like bad boys of the Hashira love Rengoku. Deep sleep! We get to see the dreams next episode. No intro, no outro music by Lisa. That's okay. I'm willing to wait until next week for it. Yes. Okay. Back to the discussion. All right. That was season two, episode one of Demon Slayer. Oh my God. That was I a great it, episode. I think it made me happier to watch it than I had just seen the movie. Like, I'm, I'm so glad we chose to watch the movie. Yeah. I, because seeing like, almost like we were seeing behind the scenes of the movie or like cuts that they yes. took out of the movie yeah. or like, you know, those like director's cuts or whatever that are sometimes like way longer than the actual movie like that was Snyder released. Cut. Yeah. yeah. That's how it felt. It was so exciting. I, can you imagine your first, like, so imagine you went into this not seeing the movie, right? Yes. And your first experience of Rengoku's past or his family is that positive of his dad of his You're dad so right saving people saving a like an, a family like literally a family a generation so you saved the grandmother and her daughter who then had a daughter that we're seeing firsthand who got saved by Rengoku but imagine that that's the first thing you're seeing only to find out what his dad is now to Rengoku the, like impact wise is it more impact to have seen the dream of him how he is and then seeing how he was in the past or if you had seen how he was in the past and then learn from the dream i, I mean we're gonna get to see it yeah. that reverse way i can only imagine know. it's devastating to like to be like oh my gosh this guy looks like a badass he's so cool and then seeing like worthless doesn't matter that you became a hashira it's like you want to know even more after seeing how he did say Rengoku when he was looking at his dad in the dream, like he was a passionate man. Yeah. He was probably almost identical to the kind of personality that Rengoku seems to be. And that is just like, how can a man like that, what has to happen to such a passionate person? Like Rengoku was literally dying and he still had passion and love and was like, nothing is worthless. Like, you are not worth. Like, he still had that, even though he was literally dying. So what had to happen to his dad to lose that? Okay, so we know Tanjiro's whole reason for becoming a demon slayer and his passion is for Nezuko. Mm -hmm. We know that love, like, love has been mentioned as something important by Shinobu's older sister. Mm -hmm. 
I can't. I'm blanking on her name right now. Um, Kane. Yeah, Kane. Uh, and so we know that that kind of thing plays a huge role in this life, and we know that Rengoku's mother unfortunately passes away. Yeah. Could it have been his passion for some reason to be a demon slayer because of her? Whether it was saving her, whether it was something else. And once she passed away, everything that he had for being a demon slayer was lost. I know that heartbreak in reality can be so devastating that it literally breaks a person. I yeah. mean, the word break is literally in heartbreak. And it is totally true that losing the person that you want to spend the rest of your life with can have a huge dramatic shift change in your life and how you view living so yeah. to me like i i feel like if that's the reason i would definitely have empathy and sympathy for the father and even like if you think about it if you're that heartbroken sometimes looking at your kids if they resemble your like your wife or remind you of your wife it might be painful for that too but it's maybe like he doesn't – I almost got the energy from him like life was meaningless. Why is he even alive anymore? And Rengoku said he just stayed and read like the manuscripts, I think, about flame stuff. Like flame information, or, flame, yeah, flame technique, yeah. I, you know, I saw – I've seen a few people complain about the route that the enemy is taking and how it's choice to, you know, uh, readapt – the Mugen train arc with their own information in it. I can't see anything but a positive at the moment. I, right now I'm enjoying it for sure. I think that it is such a good opportunity to give us more information and show us the arc in a different light. And already like just one episode in, I can tell you straight up. I did not think it was going to be as fruitful as it was. I, his Ren Goku, it. what happens to him is going to be even more painful now because we are literally getting seven episodes of more attention to him scenes we didn't see moments we didn't see obviously this first episode we didn't see any of it and already like i've learned more about him and just and how he treats people in yeah. the day in his day-to-day -day life like how noble he is how fast he can run because of because of total concentration breathing constant like how how he'll just like buy all these bentos from someone so they can get home safe like yeah he is so admirable and no wonder all of the hashira had nothing but like i love Lovely him basically to, say. to yeah. say about him i i thought it was very interesting that love hashira had seemingly was taught with him yeah or like he taught her things that that was interesting i but to go with what you said like uh how like he had an effect on every person that he met in this episode yeah At, he um met with the noodle or udon shop owner and he had such an effect that the shop owner who seemingly was going through a little bit of a tough time because people weren't there was willing to give him a free meal mm -hmm. delicious and then we saw how he met fuku and how the grandma and the grandma we saw that how he not only bought the bento boxes to perhaps get them home safe, but he then gave the bento boxes to these train workers mm -hmm. um, as a little bit of an alibi, which I loved, by the way, how a demon slayer's kind of has to go undercover like a uh, hunter oh, yeah. supernatural Oh, like, I almost. am a bento vendor. I yeah. was like, you liar. And then, and then he just immediately drum jumps off the train. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, no, no. Earlier, when the, he first went to the train yard, and all the employees were there, and when he first met this demon, he gave all the employees bentos, and then he smelled the demon who was holding the kid hostage. And, like, everybody who we've seen Rengoku meet has been, has had a positive effect in their life because of him. Yeah. He is... It's just crazy. Like, think about it this way. He found the slash lady one night. Literally, take she gets rushed, she gets healed, she gets protected. Oh. And then literally that next, I would say it was the nighttime, he meets Fuku and the grandma and we get the possibility that something bad's going to happen. And then literally that morning, the something bad happens, but he's already like saved. He's already saved another kid. And then he rushes this way. He's like dotting all over the city, like saving people. 
You see how a Hashiro really works. Yeah, before the train even becomes a... Like, before he even gets on it, you know, he's already saved one, two, three, four people. By by the way, I thought the animation and art was great this episode. I did. I was very impressed. I loved everything about it. I'm I'm so excited to hear Lisa's new opening Mm -hmm. and closing theme. Um... And to see what else they do with this arc, honestly. Is it a weird feeling that I have that I almost don't want to stop this discussion and don't want to stop talking about this episode? Because it keeps occurring to me in my mind that we have to now wait a week. Because we're used to watching two in a row. You know, maybe watch four in a day. I'm going to be refreshing this (laughs) page until episode two comes out. Oh. oh my gosh. All right. We have to end it at some point. No. <laughs> well, don't I'm... let it come to an end. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm excited to watch next episode and that will be shown to us all on Sunday. And we will also be releasing that episode on Sunday. Mm-hmm. So if you care to please watch it with us, we love yes. that. So if you've enjoyed this video, like it, Comment down below what you enjoyed about this episode and if you're excited or not for the upcoming season. And subscribe if you haven't. Until next week.